In this video, you learn how to hybrid pick on guitar. Hybrid picking is when you use both the pick and your fingers to play rhythm and lead guitar parts on the instrument. Hi, this is Simon Candy from AcousticGuitarLessonsOnline.net and hybrid picking brings many benefits to your guitar playing, including variation in tone and the ability to switch between flat picking and finger picking styles easily and effortlessly, bringing much more diversity to your playing. In this lesson, you learn some simple but very effective drills designed to get you acquainted with hybrid picking. You will also learn how to combine hybrid picking with rhythm guitar and lead guitar playing for a very cool sound. So let's get into it. Okay, so hybrid picking. What I'm going to say here first is that I'm no great hybrid picker, okay? So if you hear like country players, rockabilly players, this sort of stuff, they're going to have really great hybrid picking skills. So this is not really a video for that because I um, I guess you could say my hybrid picking is just sort of come probably out of necessity more than anything. Um, I was originally, when I started playing a flat picker, uh, pretty early on in my playing I got into finger picking. But you know, there's times when you're playing with a pick where you need to use a finger because you might be playing on non-adjacent strings and it's hard to do that with a pick, a flat pick, um, unless you're gonna strum you know, several strings at the same time. So it becomes necessary to use a finger here and there, and you may already do that. And then it's also a question of tone. Fingers just have a different sound than the pick. The pick's a bit of a sharper sound, depends on your pick too. All these things, contribute to your tone. And as you play more and become more accustomed to the sounds that you can get on a guitar, you'll get you'll, you'll be more um, aware of and sensitive to the diversity of tone you can get simply by the pick you use, the type of pick you use, um, and whether you use your fingers or, or not. Let's just begin with really simple little drills here to get used to the concept of and the technique of hybrid picking. So here we're just gonna play non-adjacent strings. You're gonna use your pick and we'll use the middle finger and you'll simply pluck the sixth and fourth strings, fifth and third, fourth and second, and the third and first, and we'll come back down. Okay, this is just to get used to using your pick and your finger at the same time. And if you're not used to doing that, you might find you get a bit of a difference in volume. You might find the note being plucked with the finger is a little quiet. You'll start to balance that up as you get more used to this. You'll be able to even it out. It's going to be a different sound because one note is being sounded with the pick, the other with the finger. So as I said before, there'll be a, a difference in the tone of each note, but the volume of each note will even out as you practice this more. Okay. So again, that exercise, that drill, it's just simply playing up string groupings, non-adjacent, and back down. Now we could get the other finger being the ring finger in on the action here and do a similar thing, playing non-adjacent strings. This time we'll play strings six and three, five and two, and four and one. And we'll come back down. Okay. Pretty simple, but again, just to get you used to the pick and the fingers. We could bring both fingers together with the pick here. Okay, so we can play more than just two notes with hybrid picking. We could go pick, middle, and ring fingers on string six, four, three, five, three, two, and four, two, one, and back down. Again, aiming for a nice, even sound in volume. And it may take a little bit of getting used to if you're not used to doing this, so be patient with that. A little bit of nail. If you don't finger pick at all, um, a little bit of nail on the fingers of your picking hand for hybrid picking and certainly finger picking can add to the tone and, and make it more even too. So consider that. Okay. And then you may or may not do this. It's, it's really up to you, but you can use your pinky in hybrid picking as well. It's there. Um, so why not use it when needed? So you could play four strings together. So you could play strings four, uh, sorry, six, four, three, two, and five, three, two, one, and back down. Now that's notes together. We can also pluck notes separately. So let's say we take the string set. Um, we'll go six, three, two, three, and just get used to playing notes side by side. Okay, one after the other. We could pick the fifth string along with our notes on strings two and three, 
or we could move up a string set and play four, two, one, two. It's just getting used to separating the pick and the fingers when hybrid picking. And if you want to bring in the pinky, then we could pick up and down strings six, three, two, one, two, three. into nothing else matters here okay always think of that tune when uh, doing certain exercises on open strings okay but that is getting us used to hybrid picking right it's a really simple concept it's just a matter of getting used to it okay so let's have a look at hybrid picking in a rhythm guitar context so let's say we've got a chord progression and it's going to be E minor a D to a C and back to an E minor Okay, this is just going to be a little picking pattern to get us used to arpeggiating chords with a hybrid picking approach. Okay, so we're going to start on the E minor. We're going to play two bars. And then the D for two bars as well. And then the C for two bars as well. And then we'll return to E minor. We're doing here we now if you're looking at this chord progression and you're going to play it you and well you could finger pick it okay so that's one approach but if you're going to use a pick you're going to have to hybrid pick at least on some level because the very first thing you do on the E minor is play notes on non adjacent strings being the bottom and top strings so there's no way you can do that with the pick <laughs> okay you can play each note separately but together no go so you've got to use hybrid picking there okay so pick and fingers or a finger and I'm using my ring finger there. And then I use my pick on the second fret of the fourth string, and then my index, uh, sorry, my uh, middle finger and ring finger follow. And then my pick, and then again my middle and or my ring and middle fingers. Okay. Okay. So when we finger pick, if you finger pick or you've seen any of my finger picking stuff, you'll know that I I'm. You know, I base it around, as, as most people do, it's not my thing, but um, your thumb plays the lower three strings and your fingers play the top three strings. Not a, you know, absolute rule, but a guide more than anything else. And I guess with hybrid picking, that's probably a little looser, but that's kind of what's happening a lot of the time too. Your, your pick is picking notes on the lower three strings and your fingers, being your middle and ring fingers, I'm not using my pinky here. I could, but I'm not using my pinky. I'm just going to use middle and ring fingers. And I'm just using those fingers to play the notes on the higher strings. So when I go to the D chord, pick. Now here, interestingly, because we're on D chord, it's a little higher, the root notes on the fourth string, I use my pick on the third string as well. Okay. When I go to C, pick on the lower strings, fingers on the higher strings. I did that with my pick I can I mean I would probably strum on the first beat I can't as I said before play those two notes together with just a pick or I could just use hybrid picking for that first beat and then use my pick for everything else now when I use the pick for everything else it's fine I can do that but of course it's less efficient right i've got to move much more with my picking hand when i do that versus hybrid picking because of a, it's like picking it with one finger i'm using the pick for every string so there i'm having to move yeah it's it's fine i mean that's that's an approach to playing i do that all the time because it's not so much i mean if it's something that's a lot quicker i might use hybrid picking because it's less sort of effort required um but otherwise it's a choice i make because of the tone you know, I like the tone of the fingers with my pick. Or I may like the tone of my fingers with the pick in one situation versus another. So it all comes down to the context in which you're playing. But my point is you want to have both ways available to you. Just using your pick, running up and down chords, but also hybrid picking because, you know, one will suit one situation, one will suit another. Okay, and of course, if you finger pick, then you could finger pick this as well. So it's giving you the, ver the, the options. Okay, and let's have a look at hybrid picking, an introduction to hybrid picking in a lead guitar context here. Okay, so we'll have a look at a couple of refs. So 
let me show you the first riff and let me play it with just a flat pick because each of these riffs or, yeah actually pretty much each of these riffs can be played with a flat pick okay with just picking okay flat pick i mean plectrum in case you're wondering okay so we've got a riff like this okay so i'm just using my pick there okay and that's just a little yeah, pentatonic A minor riff there. That's fine, but I could play it with a hybrid picking approach. And what I might do here is use my pick to do the slide from seven to nine, and then use a finger, either your middle or your ring, it doesn't really matter. I would choose, depending on the tone you want. You get a bit of a, a sharper tone, a twangier sort of tone, if you like, um, with your ring finger versus middle finger. Middle finger's got a bit of a warmer tone to it. Or at least my fingers do. So listen for the tone that you might want. Each finger is going to give you a different tone. And this is where you get the diversity in your sound. And it sounds really cool. So I'm using my ring finger there. And I'm using my ring finger when I come to this area of the riff on the 7th fret 3rd string. And this little quarter step bend at the 5th fret on the 3rd string is also I'm using a finger. So pick on the lower 4th string here where we're sort of coming to this uh, seventh fretted A note. And my ring finger playing the notes on the third string. As I said, you could use different combinations of fingers here, but basically that's using my middle finger. And my ring. Now it might sound pretty similar to you, but as you do this more, your ear will get more sensitive to the different tones that you get with the guitar um, and particularly in some settings with the acoustics and if you're plugged in or not and um, yeah even if you're on an electric guitar you can get quite a different uh, quite a diverse sound with um, hybrid picking versus flat picking and yeah the finger choices that you make okay but that riff versus the pick okay, it's quite different okay it's the picks a cool sound but you get a bit of a you get a bit of a different feel with the hybrid picking. You can sort of snap back it. Yeah, it's a bit heavier with the pick. And it's kind of, it's more of an efficient sort of sound. So, um, oh, efficient sound. It's more of an efficient approach, you know. It's not that you can't be really quick with just the pick, of course, but with hybrid picking, you sort of, you get a nice fluent, efficient motion game with the pick in the fingers in some cases. Now, here's another uh, hybrid picking riff using sixths, okay? Sixths six that are a great harmony to use on guitar. Um, I have um, a video on the channel. I might link to it uh, just up the top. Um, what would it be? Right hand corner of the video for you. Um, and uh, it's showing you about sixths and how cool they can sound in your playing. Okay, so this is the riff that we're going to use. Okay, just. So this is using a little sixth harmony based around this A chord and then working up to the ninth fret where you get another sort of, uh, not a chord as such, sixth imply chord. So we're getting from this A and chromatically moving up to another implied A chord, let's say, using sixth harmony. Okay, but the point here in this context, click the link if you want to learn more about sixth harmony in the top right corner of the video, but here we are using hybrid picking, great for sixth. So I'm using the pick on the lower string and a finger on the higher string. Again, you know, generally the case the pick plays the lower notes in the in the riff and fingers play the higher notes okay so pick playing the third string and I'm using my ring finger but I could use my middle finger hear the different tone there it's the middle finger and it's my ring finger so the ring finger is a bit twangier um, and might be the sound that you're after, or it could be the other. And of course, we could play them together too, which requires um, the hybrid picking, right? Because of course, you're on non-adjacent strings. So it's another riff to get a little bit more familiar with hybrid picking. A little variation of that riff is this. So you're playing the same little 
sixth you know, ascension, if you like, in the scale there. But we're preceding each one of the sixths with a little run up to the lower of the two notes in the sixth harmony. So here we've got the first sixth and we're coming at it from two notes below and then playing the higher one. And hybrid picking because I'm playing alternating pick on the lower th th the three notes on the lower string of the, the harmony here and then my ring finger on the higher string and then this next sixth harmony three notes below approaching the lower note in the harmony and then playing the higher note in the harmony and the same for the next one and where we resolve into an implied A chord Let's look at one more riff here using hybrid picking, a uh, little double stop riff. Okay, very common little riff here. So this is using double stops in a sort of major pentatonic scale. Uh, this is like a major pattern two pentatonic scale. Okay, and again, the pick on the lower notes of the riff and then the double stops is where I'm using my fingers. So I could use a pick. Yeah, you know, it's a it's a sharper sort of sound with the pick. Fingers. I like the sound of the fingers typically with those sorts of riffs versus the pick, particularly on on the acoustic here. Might be different on electric, but okay. But a very cool sound. Okay, um, and you get as I say, you get that efficient sort of motion going with pick and fingers instead of just the pick doing everything, which you can get very very quick and efficient with a pick just in its own right but when you start to bring in fingers you can get a very not just the cool sound with the the diversity of the tone with pick and fingers and so forth as I've been saying throughout but also just the efficiency the motion you get with pick and fingers working together okay is very cool so and so I encourage you to work with hybrid picking even like i kind of doing it in a bit more of an unconventional unorthodox sort of way in for, for the most part if you like this video then you'll love this ebook audio from my jazz concepts for acoustic guitar series titled arpeggios in this ebook you will learn exactly what arpeggios are how to visualize them on the fretboard and several ways to use them in your guitar playing. I will run you through three key major arpeggio shapes and three key minor arpeggio shapes and how each of these relate to each other on the fretboard so you can easily access them in your playing. Not only will you learn the conventional way of applying arpeggios to your guitar playing, but I will also show you how to instantly multiply your soloing possibilities with each arpeggio shape through arpeggio superimposition. It sounds complicated, but it's super simple. I will not only show you how all this stuff works on the fretboard, but also explain it to you so you can understand the theory behind it all. So click the link in the description below this video and download your free ebook audio, Jazz Concepts for Acoustic Guitar Arpeggios. You'll have it in your inbox within minutes. Let me know in the comments section what acoustic guitar topics you would like to see covered in future videos. I read every comment and I would love to hear your suggestions. If you like this video, then hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit the all important notification bell button so YouTube can tell you when I've released a new video. This is Simon Candy from AcousticGuitarLessonsOnline.net. As always, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.